Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. What a wonderful day again. I'm Liana, and I've been learning English with foreign teacher for about three years now from a Zero Foundation. Today, I would like to share my notes for lesson 112. I got a new learning material called Speak Your Mind. It has 12 issues to discuss, and the first issue is Are you busy? This is our today's topic. Now, let's take a look at paragraph. The speaker talked about most people nowadays who think they're really busy, but maybe they lie, and even cheating themselves because they wouldn't admit they are lazy. On the other hand, some of the people realize there are too many wonderful things on the world that they want to try on one by one. I definitely agree with speaker's opinion. And I think most people don't know what they could be busy for or the what. So now, let's discuss a topic. What keeps you busy? The job, the kids and families, or you just pretend to be busy? We have the following options. We can offer you guys some reference. I think this is an issue that requires deep reflection. Ten years ago, when I just began to work, I was busy for my family concerns. I knew I needed to work hard to earn money and improve the quality of our life, which I consider is my duty. Five years later, I didn't need to offer finance to my family anymore. That was the time I felt confused of my motivation. I thought my job was insignificant and I shouldn't spend any time for it. I didn't know what to do or what should I achieve in the future. I was negative for more than two years, but I always keep studying. I was keeping learning English, editing videos, managing my time and financial. So now, I'm really positive that I'm busy for myself and I'm chasing my dream. I want to improve my knowledge and ability day by day. I learn or I do anything just because of I'm interested and I want to try it. Of course, I think this issue doesn't have correct answer, but I hope you guys can get your own opinion. Okay, let's continue to read some sample answer and discuss it. Paragraph A. The speaker mentioned he never had time for himself because of too many family reunions such as someone having a birthday, anniversary, graduation, wedding and others that he have to attend. I just want to ask how many family members does he have? A birthday and anniversary are only once a year. A graduation and a wedding only once a life. I think he should just enjoy the time he has with his family. I suggest that he should be honest with himself and stop making excuses for not working hard. Paragraph B. The speaker mentioned having children causes both money and energy. She has to track their homework, attend their activities, and pay personal love and attention for them. I agree with her. I think mother is a hard work, but I suggest her to learn time management. I think she should have own time by herself to study, relax her mind, and talk with herself. Multitasking is not for everyone, so he should find out how she manages her time effectively. Finally, let me explain or make a sentence on these following new vocabulary words. Number one, election day. It means a day when the civics are led by voting a president. For example, the Philippines hosts an election day every six years. Number two, in person. It means meeting a person face to face. For example, I never see any artist or celebrity in person or in real life. Number three, culture shock. It means some 
Chinese culture made you feel shocked because you never heard that, and it's really dramatically family concerns. It means family issues such as problems financially or emotionally. Number four, pretend. It means to make you appear something is true or correct. For example, I pretend to be an ultraman in my son's birthday party, or I pretend to be busy because I don't want to attend some event in my company. Number five, alibi. It could be a lie or an excuse. Number six, obligation. It is a responsibility, or in a sentence, paying taxes legally is everybody's obligation. Number seven, participate. It means attend or join. Okay, this is my English vlog. If you are enjoying, please give me a like. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.